Welcome to this week's Tuesday Tip. I'm Ebony Hall. Of course, you know Vicki Bell, and we have a special guest this week, Natira. Hello, Hi, Natira. Everyone. Hi. Hi. My name is Natira Mickle. I am the lead contract management specialist here at Navigate. Natira, we want to thank you for coming on today. As <laughs> promised from our last Tuesday Tip, we talked about the new forms in mm -hmm. the contract and renewal department. There were 30-plus forms that you have new. Now, Tara's going to tell us about the forms, how they change, and one is a, a semi-big change, I would say, and she's going to explain it to us. It's all yours, Natira. Okay. So, first of all, HUD has updated all of their contract renewal forms and the OCAP worksheet. They have updated all the forms to change the expiration date to 4-30-2027. The big change is in the HUD form, 96-24. On the HUD form 9624, please keep in mind that the expiration date has changed. And also, it was updated to add the UEI, so you can add your UEI number to your form. In the past, it was named DUNS. So make sure that once you send your paperwork in to us to renew your contract, so we won't have a delay in processing your request, make sure that you have the new contract renewal forms sent to our office. Okay, Tara, if they don't use the new forms, what happens? What happens if they send it on an old form? If a form is sent to us through our renewal mailbox on the old form, we will send that form back and ask you to update the form. We will also send a copy of the new form just in case you don't, you don't have access to the new form and you don't know how to use HUD clips. So we will also provide a new form for you. Okay, and that's I'll, great. I'll include a link to those new forms because we did have okay. them on our blog post last week for the Tuesday tip. So okay. we'll put it there. But what is, um, I guess, what are the consequences of not sending in the right form? The consequences for not sending in the right form is that it will delay your contract renewal. HUD allows us, the acts all contract um, owners to send their contract renewal paperwork in 120 days prior to expiration. So that is the consequence because it may delay your subsidy if we don't get your contract renewed on time. And nobody wants that. Uh -uh. No. What else is new in your department? Or we will go into a DocuSign process. All contracts will be signed through a DocuSign process through HUD. Now with this form, um, what will happen is that in the past, we as the PBCA would send you the contracts to sign, and we will start off the signature process. That has changed. That will change effective 1-1. One, one. All of your contract paperwork, your contract, and your rent schedule will be, that process will be initiated through HUD. And so we're looking at an email, an example of yes. this. So talk us through this. So once we receive your funds, from HUD, that will be your funding that we will, your funding allocation for your contract year. What we will do, we will implement that information onto your contract. We will fill out a PBCA routing slip, and that routing slip will need emails. We will need your management agent email and the owner email that's actually signing the contract. Now, in the past, um, that contract will go to your management agent person, and they'll forge you over the contracts. These emails cannot be forwarded, so it's best that we need the correct email address to the person, the owner, that will be signing them. Because each time that the email is sent out, it will be sent out in rotation to everyone that's on that PBCA routing slip. Okay. Okay, so now let me understand this. Once they go in and they fill out the routing slip and they open up the information, mm -hmm. You need the owner or whomever we have on record as being the signing person, the person who can sign, the owner. You need their email yourself so it can go directly to them, opposed to them forwarding an email. Is that correct? Correct. These emails cannot be forwarded. So it's going to whoever is assigned. Once HUD actually enters that information into their system, because we will provide the emails to the HUD funding specialist and they will input this information into their DocuWare, their DocuSign system. And once we provide them to that email address, it's going to whoever, whoever email address that we provide. So those emails cannot be forwarded. Okay. okay. And I'm taking for granted, which I do most of the time, 
-hmm. that if the process is not as you say, it will delay the contract being renewed. Is that correct? Yes, that is correct. So if we have an email address that's not correct, or if the person that we send the email address to wait for a long period of time to sign the contract, it will delay their processing of their contract renewal. Okay. So two things so far. Make sure you have the right forms mm -hmm. and make sure we have the right email address so that things will go smoothly. Yes. Okay. That is correct. Now, just, just a little bit more. Once they submit all of the proper documentation, mm -hmm. what's the rest of the process? Once they submit all the proper documentation into the renewal mailbox to us, then uh, we will actually process that information. So the process goes is that we will process the information and we will send a request over for the funds to be allocated. Once the HUD funding specialist receives those funds back from headquarters, they will send it to us and then that's how we will initiate the DocuSign process because we cannot initiate it until we receive the funding notification from HUD. Okay. And so on the screen now, we're looking at the first page of that document, right? Correct. This is what they'll see once they click that first button. So is there anything different, aside from the fact that it's DocuSign, <laughs> <laughs> that uh, our owner agents need to know about? No, it's n nothing different. The form is the same. Of course, this is one of the new forms that was just updated. The contract form, the signature spots are the same. The only difference is that once they go into it and they review the document, they need to start, as you see at the top of the screen, and yeah. approve. So the management agent will approve the document. Once it goes from the management agent, it'll go to the owner, and the owner will approve the document and sign it. So the management agent will not have the ability to sign the contracts because they do not have the authority, only the owner agent, the owner. Okay. And that's what we're looking at here, the owner's certification, right? Correct. Correct. Okay. It seems to be simple, but with me, it always gets hard. <laughs> so, Nitera, can they call the guys on your uh, staff if they have questions or if they need uh, some additional information or if they're not? really not sure. We have a lot of new management mm -hmm. companies yes. and we have yeah. now new red properties that have Correct. been added to our inventory. So this is usually Ebony's question, but I'm going to ask it. <laughs> now, Tira, how can they get in touch with you? They can get in touch with me by my, using my email address. It's N as in Nancy, Mickle, M-I-C-K-E-L at navigatehousing.com. Very good. And I just wanted to point out, because Natira, before we came on, you pointed this out to us, that at the bottom of this, it says how to sign a document. So if mm -hmm. you're having issues figuring it out, they've put a video together to walk you through that process. Yes. Yes. Okay. Vic, you have any other questions? No. I just want to thank Natira for coming on and being with us today, because believe it or not, con contract renewals are not my thing. <laughs> Every time I have a question or ask a question, this is my go-to person, uh -huh. Nikira. And um, they do a great job. And as usual, we have the same great Navigate customer service. Yes. So don't be afraid to ask if you mm -hmm. don't know. At least it will stop you from delaying your process. And we yes. don't want you delayed. We want you to get your happy in. We want to pay you. And yes. we want you to get your contract mm -hmm. renewals in. And yes. everything will go smoothly. Mm -hmm. We want to thank Nitira again for coming. Awesome. I don't thank have any other questions. Nitira, do you have anything that you want to comment? Any problems that you're having? I know that you did tell me that you have a lot of people that are using the old forms. Yes. And you're having to return the information to them because HUD wants it on the new forms. Correct. But other than that, can you think of anything else that might be a hiccup? To our customers? No, that's the only thing. And if you do have the new, you don't have the new form, please feel free to email me, contact me, and I'll send you the forms that you need. Okay. Or look on our website. Thank you so much for that. Uh, we'll look forward to talking to you guys next week about something else that's new happening at HUD. Okay. And then, Tara, right. you're welcome back anytime. <laughs> Thank <Yes>. you. <laughs> All right. Bye, everybody. Bye-bye. Bye, everybody. Take care. Thank you.